Hi second graders, today we're going to be reviewing time. I'd like you all to make a clock out of whatever materials you can find at home. This happens to be a sample of a clock made out of paper plates. Um, they made some hands out of some sturdy paper, maybe like cardstock. Um, use whatever you happen to have. If you don't have paper plates, use two pieces of paper. Maybe there's some old cereal boxes you can cut up to create a clock for yourself. Any materials you have are fine. All right, here's a clock that I made. I could not find a prong in my house. It's those little metal pieces that would go in the middle that hold the hands in place. So for now, I'm just going to have my, my hands on my clock to help me tell time. So just a quick review before we start. The short hand is the hour hand. The longer hand is the minute hand on our clock. We have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Those would be referred to as the hours. And what's underneath it would be the minute. So we're going to count by five, starting with the one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, whoops, and 60. And I put the zero, 00 in because when we write a digital time, we would say 00, zero if it's, for example, 2 o'clock, we would say 200 zero, zero instead of 260. Okay, so there's a quick review of our clock. Your job today is to draw the hands on some analog clocks. Now I'm going to, I want you to pause this video. So before you start working on this worksheet, sorry, before I start working on this worksheet, I want you to pause this video. Work independently on number one. When you're finished, I want you to press play. Okay, so if you've pressed play, that means that you've finished solving problem one. So let's go over it together. Okay, number one. Let's see if I can zoom in. Here we go. Number one, the digital time given to us is 7.50. We have to draw the hands on our analog clock to show 7.50. Okay, I'm going to use my helper clock. Here. Okay. I'm going to start with the minutes. 50. Okay. So 50 minutes, my minutes are underneath. My count by five is to figure out where my minute hand would show. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Ah, my minute hand is going to point to the 10 for 50 minutes. Okay. Next, let's see, it says seven. All right, so the hour of seven. So I'm gonna point to the seven. Well, wait a minute. If it's 7.50, isn't it closer to eight o'clock? It's almost eight o'clock. So my hour hand shouldn't be pointing directly at the seven. My hour hand should be pointed closer to the eight because it's almost eight o'clock. I'm gonna guess about there. And I happen to bring the clock from the classroom. Let's check it, let's see. All right, so we're gonna go to 7.50. Okay, see, watch that hour hand as I turn this around, how it moves. Okay, so here's six, going around, here's seven. Okay, coming around, watch that hour hand move. It's getting closer to the eight, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45, 50, about there. Wow, this hour hand is actually almost directly on the eight. I'm gonna change mine a little bit. And we have our minute hand pointed to the 10. Okay, here we go. So 
minute. There's my hour, got a little bit closer to the eight. 7.50. I'm going to draw my hands on this cloth. Let's zoom in to see this one. Okay, so my minute hand is going to the 10. That's my longer hand. And my hour one's going to be pointed pretty close to the 8. And that's the shorter hand. So does your clock look something like that? 7.50. All right, now your task for today is to work on problems two through 10. And if your parent gets a chance to check it later, have them check to see how you did. All right, have a good day. See you guys tomorrow.